network models finally the categories of networks so first we'll see about what is a network network is nothing but it's a set of devices often we call it as a nodes which are connected through a common physical links that is nothing but the communication links here the node can be a computer or it can be a printer or any other device which has the capability of sending or receiving data generated by other nodes on the network every network will have the property of distributed processing distributed processing is nothing but in which the task is divided among multiple computers instead of one single large machine capable of uh, responsible for all aspects of processing separate computers can handle a subset so the components interact with one another in order to achieve a common goal so that is nothing but the distributed processing so all the networks will have the distributed processing property in order to perform data communication in the network so what are the network criteria has to be met in order to perform in order to have the data communication in a network so a network must be able to meet certain number of criteria the most important are the performance reliability and security so first we'll see about performance the performance can be measured in many ways so some of the ways has been listed here so in one of the ways nothing but measuring the transit time and the response time so by using both these time we can able to measure the performance another term of measuring the performance is nothing but it depends upon the number of factors for example including the number of users the type of transmission medium we are using the capability of the connected hard works and the efficiency of the software so by means of this we can able to measure the performance of a network the next network criteria is nothing but its reliability reliability is nothing but addition to accuracy of delivery network reliability is measured by means of frequency of failure that is the time it takes to link to recover from a failure once the failure has been occurred how much time it takes to detect the particular failure and recover from the failure that amount of time should be lesser in a network that leads to the reliability then finally the network criteria is nothing but the security network security issues includes protecting data from unauthorized access protecting data from damage and development next we'll see about the physical structures what are how the physical structures should be there in the network whenever we connect the different devices here there are two types of connections are there one is point to point connection and another one is multi point connection so the point to point connection is nothing but it's a unidirectional mode of data communication that happen between the two stations so between two station a physical link will be connected that is nothing but the point to point connection and what is a multi point connection is nothing but in a physical link n number of stations will be mounted so all the n number of stations which are mounted in the particular link will be interconnected to each other that is nothing but the multi point connection now we'll see about that what is topology and what are the different types of topology so topology is nothing but it's a geometric representation of the relation ship of all the links and the linking devices the different types of topology are mesh topology star topology bus topology and ring topology so we'll see about mesh topology mesh topology is a fully connected mesh topology for example here we have the five stations the five stations should be interconnected with each other by means of point to point connection so this is the example for mesh topology so in mesh topology every device or every station will have a dedicated point to point link to every other devices the term dedicated means the link will be uh, carries the traffic only between the two devices which it uh, which it has been connected so what are the advantages of in in there in mesh topology are it can able to eliminate traffic it is robust the security will be provided and disadvantage is nothing but more number of cables are needed installation and reconnections are difficult so the applications are the telephone regional offices in each each regional regional office needs to be connected to every other regional office in mesh topology if you want to measure the total number of ports it can be measured by means of by means of the equation is nothing but n minus 1 where n is the total number of devices that are connected in the particular network 
and if you want to measure the number of devices are connected to with each other the total number of dedicated links are nothing but n into n minus 1 divided by 2 so the total number of dedicated links will be calculated by using the formula n into n minus 1 divided by 2 where n is nothing but the number of devices or the nodes or the station that is connected in the particular network so suppose you have a problem uh, you have a network which ha consisting of 15 nodes or the 15 stations so how many ports are needed io ports are needed n minus 1 so 15 minus 1 equal to 14 how many number of links are required in order to connect these 15 station n into n minus 1 divided by 2 so 14 into 15 divided by 2 so 7 into 15 that will give the answer of total number of links required to connect the 15 stations Next, we will see about the star topology. In star topology, each device has a dedicated point-to-point -point link only through a con central controller termed as a hub. The hu so, all the devices in the network or in the topology will be connected only through this hub. All the devices will not be connected directly to one another. Since this controller will act as a exchange for data trans transmission from one node to another node. So this is the diagrammatic representation of star topology. You have a centralized hub. That hub will have n number of ports and in each ports the n number of stations will be connected. So what are the advantages of hub? It has a less expensive than the mesh topology, easy to install and configure and then robustness, easy fault identification. The major drawback of star topology is it depends upon the whole central controller. So if a node gets affected, the whole hub will be get affected. So all the stations in the hub connected with the hub will be going to dead. That is the major drawback of star topology. Next third one is nothing but the bus topology. Bus topology is a multi-point connection where you have a cable. In that cable, a number of station will be mounted by means of this drop line. So you can able to send data communicate data transmission can be done from one station to another station where n number of stations will be mounted in a single lengthy cable the advantages of bus topology is easy of installation less cabling the disadvantage is difficult reconnection and fault isolation a fault or break in the bus cable stops all transmission and the final one is nothing but the ring topology it has a ring like a structure so the cable will be connected in a ring like a structure with a repeater the station will be mounted and if you want to send a data from one device to another devices it will happen by the one way side where point to point connection has been given between the stations each device will have in the ring will incorporate a repeater when a device receives a signal intended for another device its repeater regenerates the bits and passes through the next device that is the uh, advantages of ring topologies. Ring topology is relatively easy to install and reconfigure. To add or delete any device in the ring topology, we need of only two connections. Fault isolation is also simplified. The drawback of uh, ring topologies is unidirectional traffic is the major drawback of ring topology. So this is a diagrammatic representation of hybrid topology. Hybrid topology is nothing but when one, one more than one topology has been combined together to form a topology like structure then it is called hybrid topology. In this uh, diagram we have connected the bus topology and the star topology. So with this we will end with this session. In the upcoming video we will see about the category of networks. Thank you.